what we do here is go back, 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 back. What's up everybody welcome back to fixing a ride get another video coming at you today it's starting to warm up spring i'm guessing it's here folks <laughs> it's gonna be 65 this coming weekend uh friday actually and then it'll be 55 it was 55 on sunday and we're only getting down maybe into the third mid 30s at night so spring is upon us so guess what it's time to start working on the bike again so before we get to it though if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and the alert bell. That way you can come on back, check out what we got going on. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram as well as TikTok. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so in the fall, I had a slight issue. I don't know how it happened, but <laughs> I clearly ended up cross-threading these this bolt here in a hurry. And stupid me, so I wasn't able to back it out at all, and guess what? It ended up twisting the stinking nut in there, but no big deal. I'm going to fix that. I've done it before, and I had a video where I had a perfect amount of detail and everything, and I walked you guys all the way through it, but somehow it got deleted. But either way, we're going to go ahead and fix this thing up, and uh, first thing that we're going to do is cut around the outside here, and then we're going to go ahead and pop this thing out. And then we're gonna clean up the, well, first we're gonna get this bolt out of here. And then we're going to make sure the threads are good. And then we're gonna clean everything up. And then we're gonna use some two-part epoxy. And we're gonna put it on the outside of this nut after it's cleaned up. And then we're gonna put some on the inside, make sure it's you know in there with all the crevices and everything. And then we're gonna shove the thing back in there. And then, and then we're gonna go ahead and smear some on the outside get it set in you know obviously everything's gonna be cleaned up and then we're gonna let it set clean it up and it'll be good as new so stick around see it's just twisting in there so be careful you don't cut yourselves All right, let's see if we can get a grab on that and pull it out. So I'm going to try and heat it up a little bit around there. It'll soften that plastic enough. You don't want to use a torch, that's for sure. So that's it. See how deep that goes in there? And there's a, you know, it's a pocket that it goes in, obviously, because, you know, you can't have fuel held in there just by the ceiling of this plastic. So there's big pockets in there. And uh, so what we're going to do, I'm just going to get this bolt out of here. We'll clean this up. And then we're going to put some, put some two-part epoxy on here and shove her back in. All right, so I got some of these aluminum welding rods. And what happened was, now I, I remember now, this is the normal size bolt that's supposed to go in there. And it stripped out. And so I ended up cramming one of these big ones in there for the time being. And I thought it was going to go a little farther in, but I was wrong. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use some of this welding rod stuff. And I'm going to stick it down in there first. And then I'm going to fill the whole hole up. First, I'm going to drill the hole out and then I'm going to retap it. And then hopefully we'll be able to get some better threads. So I'm going to clean this thing up, make sure there's no junk on it. It says there's no flux required. So I have used this stuff before. I actually used it to fix 
a tunnel cooler on a snowmobile. All right, so we'll let that harden up and then we're going to flatten it out. I'm gonna put a punch in there, punch mark. Then we're gonna take it over to the drill press and get a nice straight hole drilled in it. All right, so we're gonna clean this hole up a little bit better. Doesn't have to be anything special. You just wanna clean it up. All right, so I got the epoxy mixed up. This is just to try and get it in all the grooves on the inside there. We're going to get it in all these little slots. All right, so we'll let that set up. All right, so we got the gas tank on the bench. Let me go ahead and pull this out. This is all dried up. Go ahead and take a knife here. And last time what I did on the 85 was take, I took a Dremel uh, sanding disc and I sanded all this down to where it was smooth, but you don't have to do that. I mean, it's gonna be under the shroud, so who even cares, really? Unless you're that anal about it, but it's a 2006, so it's kind of an older bike. And, you know, I guess if you're looking to make it look like it's new, it might be one thing. I don't know how good this will look, but it looks all right. Obviously there's still some dirt and stuff on here, but that is pretty much it. I want to try and do this hole right here as well because let's see if I can, eh, I'm probably not going to be able to get it clear enough. Eh, you might be able to see it. So those are stripped out there. So I would have to pull this one out. I mean, I can get a little bit of threads down in there, but for it to look similar, I would have to use the longer. So if this is what I'm using in there, that's obviously not going to grab enough. I mean, it grabs, grabs some, but I could probably strip it out just turning it with my fingers. Yeah. So I don't know if there's a, enough threads down in there for me to be able to pull that out, but... Let's go ahead and give it a try, see what happens.
All right, so I took a drill bit and drilled down alongside of both sides of this. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and heat up just the bolt, see if that'll travel down into the aluminum here, and then that'll help to loosen up the plastic around it, and then I'll grab it and hopefully pull it out. Nice. All right, there we go. So that's it. So what I'm gonna do now, once again, is heat this up and then we'll put a couple pieces of this down in there. Let's get a quick measure of how deep that is. So we're looking at probably, it's about a half inch I would say. Flatten that out a little. All right, it's cooled down now. Let's go ahead and flatten this out. So we're going to go ahead and tap this with a 1032 and 32 tap. All right, so just like before, we're gonna go ahead and fill this hole with a little bit of this stuff to get it in all the crevices. Or as some other people like to say, crevasse. Give me a break. <laughs> all right, so just get it all up in there, make sure it's nice and sticky, and then we'll put it on this nut here. Uh, better off having too much than not enough. I like how this stuff smooths out by itself too it's pretty sweet all right so we will let that set up all right so it seems like it's dry heck yeah that thing's in there so we'll clean up around there real quick My right, last steps go ahead and put the gas tank back on.
We'll put the petcock back into the frame. Snug it up. Put the fuel line back on and tuck it up underneath the holder. All right, now I just go ahead and put the shroud back on. Oh, that is nice. Not playing that game anymore with these. that is it guys all right guys that is it I hope you enjoyed the video if you guys have any questions about the process let me know I'm not sure about the longevity of the threads so um, for now I'll just be gentle with them <laughs> so uh, either way uh, I'm sure that I could probably put some type of re like uh, the recoils in there or the the, um, the coil threads I don't even know what they're called. <laughs> but anyways, you could put, if worst case scenario, I could probably drill them out again and uh, put those coils in there if I needed to, so. But yeah, either way, so far so good. I did the same thing over on the uh, 85, except for I didn't have to redo the threads on that. But yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you pop them out, put them back in. If you need to, you don't have to drill them out and redo the threads, obviously, but if you need to, you can try it that way, so. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, don't forget to check us out on Instagram. Uh, don't forget to check us out on TikTok as well. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel like this kind of stuff, please hit the subscribe button. Also, the alert bell. That way you can come on back, check out what we got going on. What we got going on. Don't forget to smash the like button. I always appreciate that. So we'll see you guys in the next video. You guys stay safe. I can't wait to ride, man. I'm so pumped up. All right, we'll see you guys. Come on back. God bless.